Hey everyone, Chris again with another video for you all. Today is a very awesome day and that is because the first Lineage OS nightly build for the next bit Robin has been released today, January 23rd. So they released an experimental and nightly build. I would assume a nightly build is going to be more stable as far as daily use. Um, they also released builds for the 6P, Nexus 5X, the Moto G4, G4 Plus, and the Xiaomi Redmi 1S as well. Um, there's going to be more devices being released, um, I think a total of like 80 so far, um, that will initially have the build. So we're going to go ahead and get that checked out um, to get this installed on your next bit Robin. Um, this will just be a quick how-to video to do that. So first you're going to go ahead and head over to your um, web browser on your computer. That's going to be the download lineage download.lineageos.org and then you're going to go ahead and select next bit and then the robin. Just go ahead and download the nightly build here and then you're also going to need to download your open gaps uh, Google Apps so ARM64 7.1 and I'm just going to use the stock version of this as well. Go ahead and download both of those. It's going to take about maybe five minutes and we'll be right back. Alright, so the download has been completed. What we're going to go ahead now and do is go over to your next bit, plug that in. And you are going to need the TWRP recovery. Um, if you don't know how to do that, there are guys online. Um, on also check out my previous video. I do show how to install other ROMs such as CyanogenMod. So but unfortunately since CyanogenMod is now dead, Lineage OS is what's going to be used now. So we're going to go ahead and just boot this into recovery mode. Go ahead and copy over your two files, the ROM and the gaps itself. So they're there. Perfect. So now we can also now go over to our Robin itself, go to the folder which we copy the files to. There's our ROM and the Google Apps. So we're going to go ahead first, wipe your device, cache system, data, and um, the other cache, so Dalvik and regular cache, wipe. Of course, back up your, your ROM, your phone before doing this. Um, since this is just a freshly wiped phone, I don't have anything on it, so no need to worry. Go ahead and select our lineage OS. This is the first time me flashing this, so whatever happens, happens, and that way I can at least show you guys the process, and if I run into any issues, how to resolve them. That's what my channel's about, helping everyone, showing these guides. I don't like the channels that like to cut and cut off stuff and things like that so I like to do a all one continuous video if I can. It's going to take a mi couple minutes to to flash. Now, I don't know if this comes pre-rooted or if it includes a super SU or not. Um, that may need to be flashed separately, but we'll find out once we get all this booted up. All right, so that finished flashing the ROM. We'll go ahead now and flash Google Apps. And that's going to take a couple minutes, and we'll be right back. All right, so that is now done installing the Google Apps. We're going to go ahead and just reboot the phone and let it do its first boot. That's also going to take a couple minutes as well. And once that is done, we'll go through the setup and just quickly go through the OS real quick, see if anything's changed, what features it includes. So it looks like we got this nice different boot animation. It's like a half arch with a circle following along. Basically, I'm going to assume it's going to finish with the Lineage OS, the new logo that they've come up with. So on the back you have the lights 
from Nextbit that are scrolling across as it boots up. This is kind of the, if you if you are curious, this is like a white mint case that Nextbit produces. You can purchase this on Amazon, I'll provide the link below, or you can purchase directly from Nextbit themselves. It's actually taking longer than I expected, so it might be boot looping. Um, I'll give it just another minute or two, then I'll try just rebooting the device itself. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and just unplug the USB, and I'm going to go ahead and just uh, power it down, do a hard reboot, pressing the bottom volume down and the power button at the same time. And we're going to go ahead and just restart. All right, so it looks like it booted up actually. So just had to do the a reboot. Um, if it doesn't boot up the first time in a couple minutes, just do a reboot and then it should boot up. That's just, that's a weird bug. Um, so we get the Lineage OS logo on first boot. We're gonna go ahead and just set up the phone. Um, the date and time, we are Eastern. Date is obviously not the first, it is the 23rd. Current time is 1.39 p.m. Next. All right, we're gonna go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi network. All right, so that's connected. I'm gonna go ahead and go to next. Um, I don't have a SIM card in this right now, we'll skip that. So the first thing I notice is that the the text font looks a little different. Okay, there's no next button for to skip this. That's interesting. So there's no way to skip past that section. That's interesting. Place two devices back to back until you hear a noise, then set aside. There's no next skip option. You can't scroll down. Huh. So I'll be right back. Yeah, that was really weird. Um, so luckily I did have another device um, to use NFC to get past it. That was the only way I could figure out how. Um, so I just tapped it to my other device, even though it didn't even work. Something went wrong, it said. Um, so I'll go ahead and just sign into my Google account. All right, we're gonna go ahead and set up the fingerprint scanner on this now, see how that works. Okay, protect your phone, requires a pin, password to unlock the screen. I already set that up. All right, yep, that's fine. All right. So we're finally through the setup. That was a little uh, janky, not as smooth. We're gonna go ahead and just select the Pixel Launcher. It says one update available, even though I just flashed the update. So we're not gonna worry about that just yet. It's gonna take a minute just for everything to settle in. So let me go ahead, turn off Bluetooth. Okay, open the settings app and that hasn't come up yet. Okay. So that was a odd behavior turning off the screen and the fingerprint scanner doesn't work. Even though it just did, it took a minute for it to recognize the finger. Okay. Let's see if settings, okay. There you go, now settings is open. It's just taking. All right. 
So we can see we're on 7.1.1, January security patch, so that's good. Okay. Status bar. All right, so we can see, turn on and off different icons that are in your status bar up here, such as your cellular data, alarm, things like that. We can choose to have the clock centered or on the right, circled or text or battery icon. You can quick pull down on the right hand side of the screen so it'll automatically bring up your notifications or you can have that turned off to where you have to swipe twice to access your quick toggles, which I usually like. All right, so we have up here the notification count. So if you have multiple emails, it'll show a number for that. I don't like that, I like simplicity. Double tap to sleep on the status bar. It's too difficult to reach the status bar for me. All right, let's go into buttons down here. Okay, show arrow keys on the keyboard at the bottom. We can double tap the home button to perform an action. Long press home button. I like the search assistant power menu. So when you're doing the power menu, control playback, things like that. Display adaptive brightness off. All right, so we have the live display setting. Allows you to do like a night mode at specific times, automatic, things like that. Select the color temperature, screen saver, I usually turn that off anyways, ambient display when you receive notifications, that's cool. Okay, you can, of course, since this is based on NuGet, you can change the DPI size straight from the OS. You can make it small, smaller, that's pretty cool. And let's see what else. NFC. I'm not sure if this is going to have Wi Fi calling built in or not. We'll check that out later on as I give this some more usage. Battery settings. You have power management, balanced, efficiency, or performance, things like that. That's pretty cool. Um, so overall, it seems like it's running smooth. Um, upon first boot, I mean, it's gonna be a little sluggish as everything gets set up. Um, fingerprint scanner works as you would expect. That's good, you have your, your quick switch and nougat, and you have your multitasking split window mode, which is fast to to switch and scroll through so it looks like flashlight is working fine which is good the camera let's check that out because I know other signage on my builds camera was a little weird um, looks like camera opened up just fine you got all your different settings things like that select for video Awesome. Different camera modes. Let's check the APS. All right, it locked on. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions, um, feel free. Like I said, hopefully this helps everyone out. Um, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more content. I'll do um, a follow-up video on this OS and see how this works. Thanks again. Please subscribe and share this channel 
and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.